Say hi, Momo. Isn't she the cutest thing in the world? Don't look at my face, I just broke right around. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be trying out some new products along with just rediscovering other things that I have in my collection. One product that I'm really excited to try out and use more of is this by The Ordinary. This is the most unique primer that I've ever tried. This is The Ordinary High Spreadability Fluid Primer. It doesn't feel like any silicone primer that I've ever tried in the past. I thought this was going to feel like a Smashbox original photo finish. Is it photo finish? Photo finish primer. But it feels nothing like that at all. That primer made me feel a little too slick and greasy. Um, where this one is smoothing, but it's dry. It's the weirdest primer ever. It makes you feel so smooth, but dry at the same time. So I'm really excited to see how it does with the longevity on my makeup. Now today I did use the hydrating foundation from Fenty. That is what's giving me this nice natural sheen to the face. Um, now I do love hydrating foundations, like I said, even though I have oily skin, I do love my hydrating products. So I did want to try that out with the primer and see if the primer does affect the longevity of the hydrating primer because usually that'll start breaking down on me within a few hours. Now I am trying out a couple new products. I have this bronzing palette from Essence and I am trying out a new concealer and a new lip product. So if you want to go ahead and see those new products in action and also the other products that I use to achieve this look, go ahead and keep on watching. So I did make an order on Beauty Bay. Um, I think they're based out of the UK. And the reason I had to make an order from them is because a couple of products from The Ordinary were sold out on Ulta's website, Sephora's website. So I decided to order the bulk of the items from there. And one of the items that I wanted to try was this primer right here. This is the High Spreadability Fluid Primer by The Ordinary. And um, when I first kind of like felt this on the skin, I was like shook. It's like no other silicone primer that I've ever used before. It's runny, but it's thick at the same time. And when you put it on the back of your hand, it just makes your hand feel like it's like the, the softest thing ever. Uh, and I'm spilling it, of course. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take a little bit of it and... What are you doing? It's just like underneath the desk. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take a little bit and put it on the skin and just see what this does. Now, I don't really know what kind of skin type this is aimed for. Um, so I don't really know what to expect from this, but I do know it's making my skin feel really soft and smooth. I have tried silicone primers before in the past and I just didn't like what they did for my skin. So I'm interested in trying this. Honestly, The Ordinary is so inexpensive. If this doesn't work for me, I'll be able to pass this along to a friend. What? What do you want? I'm gonna let you out, I'm gonna let you out. But don't ask to come back in. And for foundation, I'm gonna be using my Fenty Hydrating Longwear Foundation. This is in the shade 220. I did get this at the end of last summer when I did have a little bit more color. I do have a concealer that seems to be a little bit too light, so we're just gonna make this work. So I'm just gonna pump some of this on the back of my hand. I think what I'm gonna do is dot this. Yeah, it definitely seems a little too orangey, which is weird because I don't remember this being orangey. So I'm gonna use a brush or sponge. I'm gonna use a sponge. I was gonna use a brush, but we're gonna go with my equal tool sponge and just blend this in. So this foundation is slightly a little too peachy orange on me right now. Um, why did I think this color was, was I ever this tan? So I have tried this foundation out in the past. I do like it. I think it's a really nice hydrating foundation and I do like how lightweight it feels on the skin. So I am trying out a new concealer today. This is the JCAT Beauty Stay Strength Water Sealed Zero Smudge Concealer. I do have it in the shade Custard. Now I purchased this because I saw swatches on the JCAT Beauty Instagram page and Custard didn't look like this. It looked a lot darker. So um, this is going to seem really brightening under the eyes. Yeah. Do you see how light that is? And so I feel a little deceived because I bought two shades thinking this was going to be the darker shade and then I would have another shade to lighten it up if this was too dark. And as you can see, this is pretty pale. 
Um, so I'm just going to try to blend this out as best as I can. And I was really excited to see how this formula worked because it's supposed to be like zero smudge, water sealed. It's supposed to be like a really long wearing formula, which I was excited to use for summer. Um, but the fact that I would probably have to go into like the medium, medium tan range is crazy to me because like I said, the swatches online did not look like this. But now that I have it all blended out, it doesn't look horrible. If anything, I do think it's kind of balancing out that off color of the foundation. Okay, I mean, it doesn't look bad. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight in the areas that I usually would highlight. I kind of already did on the nose. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the jawline also. Okay, I I like the way that looks. I think the formula is nice. I don't know if it's because we're putting it on top of a hydrating foundation that this looks a little dewy. I'm thinking that's what it is. I was assuming because of the name that this was gonna be more of like a matte finish concealer, kind of like Shape Tape and the original Elf Camo Concealer. Those are pretty dry formulas and they do sit down pretty fast. But I think because we did put this over a hydrating foundation, it has more of a dewy finish. And hopefully that doesn't affect the longevity of the product or how it wears, but we shall see. And for brows, I'm gonna be using nothing new. I'm gonna be using products that I know that I like. I'm gonna be using the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil in the shade Brunette, the Benefit Gimme Brow, and this is in the shade number five. And then the Brow Brow by Tanya Brooks. This is the Convertible Brow Palette thingy in the shade two. So I'm just gonna skip over brows and I'll be back with my brows on. All right, so I got my brows on and I also throw in some lip balm. This is the Milk Makeup Kush Lip Balm in the shade Canatonic. I mean, these really don't have a shade. It has like a slight tint to it, kind of like the little Nash one I used in my last video, but if anything, it's just a really comfortable lip balm. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes really quickly. I'm gonna be using the Milani Eyeshadow Primer. I'm gonna try to use this one up. I did really love the CoverGirl one, so I think that one might be taking the place of this one. Um, I just wish the CoverGirl one was available in more places besides just Ulta. But if there is an Ulta around you or if you're gonna be making an Ulta order, I would kind of look into getting that if you need an eyeshadow primer. That one's a really good one. But Milani is available at more places, so if you just wanna pick it up in person and get it out of the way, this is a really good eye primer as well. So I did pick up a new shade of the J-Cat Beauty Aqua Assurance Powder Foundation. Now I do really like this powder foundation. I had ordered one that was a little too dark um, and instead of ordering the next one down, I ordered two down so I can kind of even out. But I just decided to pick up the shade that was going to best suit my skin tone overall. So the shade that I picked up to suit my skin tone is this one in buff. So I'm going to go ahead and take the shade buff and kind of put that all over the place. So I'm just going to kind of tap this pretty much everywhere. And then recently I did pick up the matte bronzing palette from Essence. Now I haven't tried much from Essence, now I do love their pure nude highlight. I think I did recommend that in my drugstore starter kit video, um, but I'm really excited to try this out. I've seen a couple of videos where people have been using this and so far I've heard nothing but great things. So this is what the palette looks like. It's going to be four matte shades. You have a really light bronzer here, more yellow tone, neutral tone, and then red tone bronzer. Now they do get deeper as you're going down. I actually kind of want to see what this does on my skin tone because for a lot of people, this might be like too light, but let's just see what it does on me. So we're going to pick a little bit of that up. Now we're just going to go ahead and buff this on where I would usually bronze. so that is just the lightest shade now it did give me a pretty natural bronze look which i do like for more subtle days i do like a little bit more of a heavier bronzed look so i'm gonna go ahead and dip into it in this one over here which is the next deeper shade so this one's a nice warm yellow tone bronzer which i do like especially for like the top of the forehead i think it's really pretty and i need one as well I would just dig my nail into the bronzer. Mm -hmm. well, what I have so far is with the top two bronzers. Now I do like this. This is pretty much as much bronzer as I like. Um, but to try one more, I'm gonna kind of contour my cheeks with this one right here where I dug my nail into. So just picking up a little bit on the tip of the brush. 
and go right here and blend up. Just taking my powder brush and blending everything together. Now, I really do love the way this came out. I believe this runs for $9.99 on Ulta's website. I did get it on sale for $7. 99 I believe. Now this is a really great bronzing palette. If you're in the market for any bronzer, this really did blend up pretty nicely and you get four different shades. So you do get a pretty good variety of different tones to mix and match. So yeah, I like this. I'm going to go ahead and dip into my Catrice and Iman blush palette and I'm going to be using this one in Cairo. And where is my blush brush? So just dipping into that and just nice wash of blush I'm just going to take my powder brush and blend everything together and then for highlight I'm going to dip into my give me more pressed powder highlight palette by Colourpop I think I'm going to go ahead and mix these two in bigger and better and I believe this is full service if I'm reading the back of it correctly I'm really going to buff this highlight into the skin And then for eyeshadow, I definitely wanted to dip into one of my Juvia's Place palettes. Now this is the Saharan palette and it looks like this. And I think we're gonna do more of like a bronzy eye to kind of fit into this bronzy skin that we have going on. First shade we're gonna be dipping into is this one in Katsina. We're just gonna take this shade and press it into our crease. And blend it out. Now, do you see how quickly that blended out? Like, I'm not even gonna speed that up because that blended out so quickly. Like, did that not blend out in two freaking seconds? Look at that. Just throw a little shimmer on the lid and you're good. Nice everyday quick eye look. Now we're just gonna deepen up that shade just a little bit more. And then next shade we're gonna dip into is this orangey shade in Jamila. I'm just gonna pick that up in the brush. And we're gonna place this a little lower than that first shade that we placed down. And we're just gonna use this to warm up the look. So then we're gonna go ahead and take this bronzy shade in Senegal. Senegal. So this is barely touching the shade and I'm not gonna wet this. I'm just gonna glide this over the eyes so you can see how crazy pigmented the shade is. Wow. I'm going to dip back into the shade Jamila and kind of work on the outer eye and kind of build that shade back up. Now I know I just did an orange look in my last video and I'm giving you another orange look but I am just feeling the orange right now. And then on the under eye I'm going to take that first shade in Katsina. And I'm gonna run that on the lower lash line. So to kind of break up the orange a little bit, I'm gonna take this shade in the corner in Kia, and I'm gonna drag this on the lower lash line. So it's like kind of like this greenish blue color, and I think it looks so pretty on the lower lash line. So I'm feeling weight. We're gonna be using the Maybelline, what is this? What is this? We're going to be using the Maybelline Hyper Easy Eyeliner Pen and we're just going to see how this performs. Well, that was pretty easy to do that wing. Now this is a brush tip and it is kind of like a firm brush tip. So it's not super flexible, but I kind of like that because it gives you a little bit more control on where you're drawing. Okay, we're gonna try to do the same thing on the other eye and um, make them as close as similar as we can. They're definitely not the same, but I don't know. I don't know. I feel like the juice and the brush kind of like ran out. Okay, so I don't know if this is gonna replace my NYX matte liquid liner, 
Um, it did feel like it was kind of running out of juice on the second eye. It wasn't as fast to do the second eye. And I did have to go over the shimmer a few times to get that fully coated. Now, eventually it did fully coat the shimmer and I don't think it looks bad, but I did struggle a little bit on this eye and it does not look perfect, but I am not gonna keep messing with it. Um, I'm just gonna leave it like that. And then before we go into mascara, I'm gonna let this dry down a little bit because I don't know if it's gonna transfer onto my eyelash curler. So I'm gonna give it a chance to fully set um, before we do that. So I'm gonna go into lips. And today is gonna be pretty simple. I'm just using two products. I'm gonna go into the Kylie Cosmetics Coconut Lip Liner. My cupid's a little too big. I feel like that looks weird. No, I think it looks fine. I really like the shade of this lip liner. I did get it in the Christmas set, that's why it's pink. Um, and I don't know if the coconut lip liner is available on its own, but I think it is in the Kylie lip set. So you get the coconut lip liner with the Kylie liquid lip. For me, that's just a little too pale and pink. So on top of the lip liner, I'm gonna be going in with this Revlon, what is this called? I think this is like their super lustrous glass shine lip lipsticks and this is in the shade nude illuminator so we're just going to throw this on top just like that this is going to go right on top of that lip liner and then i did leave the middle of my lips bare so you can see a little bit more of the rosiness that comes through with this lipstick and then you get more of like a nude on the outside now these are super super slick and shiny you don't need a lip gloss with these and they are really comfortable on the lips the big lizard all right, now I'm just gonna go in with the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara. We're still working on her, we're still working with her. So we're just gonna go ahead and throw this on. First, I'm gonna curl my lashes. So a little bit of the eyeliner on the base of my eyelashes did come off on the eyelash curler, so I'm just gonna go ahead and touch that up before I go in with my mascara. And then for my inner corner highlight, I did want to use this product by Fenty. This is the How Many Carrots Diamond Glow Balm that I absolutely love. And I'm just going to go ahead and throw this into the inner corner. It's like one of my favorite products ever. Alright guys, and that is today's look. I really enjoyed using my Juvia's Place palette again. I haven't used it in so long, so I'm happy I pulled that out for today's video. Now I did try a couple of new products in this video. So the first product that I tried out for the first time was the Ordinary High Spreadability Fluid Primer. Now this was kind of interesting to use because it was not greasy at all. It just made your skin really silky smooth. And I think the Ordinary has really good prices. I did pick up a couple of other products from the brand, but I did pick up their two primers. So I am excited to try the other one also. But this is in a glass bottle and it is really pretty. It has a nice dropper to it. Everything feels pretty sturdy, which is crazy because the Ordinary has pretty great prices like if i were to compare them to anybody in the drugstore right now i would compare them to elf now even with this primer on i can still see um a few lines on my forehead my pores are on my nose but honestly i don't think it looks bad i think my skin looks really pretty looks really hydrated looks really glowy didn't dry my skin out didn't make me greasy so it kind of just kept me in the middle and just smoothed everything out second new product i tried was this concealer by jcap now the color was a little light for me i don't know if it oxidized because you can't even tell that it was too light under my eyes um i don't know if it was all the bronzer and blush that i put on top of it if it was the powder but it seemed to blend in pretty well and you can't even like i said you can't even tell that it was way too light in the beginning and that makes me wonder are the swatches on i'll see if i can find the picture but are the swatches on the jcat instagram page were those after oxidation because if they do oxidize and those are taken after they oxidize then that could kind of explain the color change and how it doesn't look too bright under my eyes right now i don't know i'm gonna have to keep playing with this and i'll let you know how i feel about it the next product i tried out was the bronzing palette by essence now i do really love how this looks the bronzers blend it out really easily and you do get a good variety for the price like getting four basically full-size products i believe that the physician's formula butter bronzer at walmart is around 13 dollars so the fact that you're getting four different shades in this one palette and you can catch on sell like i did on ulta i think this is a great bronzing palette and if you do decide to pick this up i'm sure you're gonna love it 
And the final thing that I tried out today was the Revlon Glass Lip Shine Lipsticks. I really don't know what they're called. I have to check on Ulta. But this is like great after use. Like you can see it's super shiny, super slick, and it feels super comfortable on the lips. I can see myself just throwing this on with really any look. I love the shade of this also. I think this is a great everyday nude. I did get another one in Glossed Up Rose, which is more of like a pinkier tint to it. The reason I picked these up is because they seem to be comparable to the Fenty lip shines, which I wanted to pick up like one or two of those so bad but instead i picked up these these were on sale at ulta i think they were like buy one get one 40 percent off so i did pick these up during that sale and ulta always has sales especially on drugstore brands all right guys and that is today's video if you went ahead and liked it give it a thumbs up go ahead and subscribe i upload every single friday go ahead and check the description box for a full list of products mentioned go ahead and follow me on my socials at instagram snapchat and tiktok at karina mua and are they going to be banning TikTok. I mean, if it has to go, it has to go, but like, I hope not. I have a lot of fun on that. All right, guys, that is it for this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.